the consequences for P2P users are rapidly becoming catastrophic. Research shows that yearly meth-related death overdoses are almost four times higher than in 2015, and women in particular are more at risk for severe abuse patterns. At the Mental Health and Addiction Association of Oregon, we met with a group of former meth addicts in recovery. Does anyone here notice a difference between what meth used to be back in the day and today? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Nowadays, they're just mass producing it like it's nothing, so you don't know what you're going to get in one part of it that you're not going to get in another. They started putting chemicals in the drugs that does something to your brain chemistry that's different than it was back then. In my addiction, I'm walking down the street talking to people that wasn't even there, okay? I'm in full-fledged conversations. I did stupid things because of people telling me what to do that wasn't there. How did it affect you? My psychosis was pretty severe. I was hearing lots of voices in my head. I was seeing things that weren't there. I spent three years obsessing over our surveillance cameras that we had around our home. When I met her, um, she had a spear and a hatchet and literally was like, stab the walls because there's people in the walls. I believed it with everything in my whole heart. I believed what I was seeing was real. I still question sometimes. Like, Me too. Still, like, was, I know some of that was real, like, yeah. you know what I mean? I don't, I, yet to this day, I don't <laughs> yeah. know what was real and what wasn't. Or I think this, this group is a reflection of the fact that you can recover, right? You yeah. can get to the other side. How did you do it, right? There's a lot of people that don't believe that this is possible, especially oh, considering what the drug does to your brain. How did you guys do it? Stable housing, support, community. Support. You gotta have support. If you just come in by yourself and you're alone and there's nobody to talk to and, and you're gonna run. Everybody's got to start somewhere. And that's what people need to do, is give more people chances. Yeah.